Like I had to change the title last minute and maybe use existing presentation because I didn't have one. Uh, so today's session is mostly a non-technical. I'm not gonna say about what Python is, what the communities are, we all are aware of it. But have you heard about a work group which is specifically for diversity and inclusion? Have you heard about this work group before? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, no one? About PSF, about the voting uh, members? Okay, we have one hand. Anyone else? Two, three, four. Good. Okay, good and bad both. Um, that's why we have a lightning talk now. So we are a group of uh, very diverse members from all around the world. The current members are on the screen, including me, which I'm missing, probably. But uh, so what we are about is, if you have any questions about what the PSF does and uh, uh, what is diversity and inclusion, have you felt left out for any meetup? Or do you have faced any issues that you cannot flag directly with the board members? So we are like an intermediate contact between them, a group of people who are from every country. Like probably we are from most of the continents are being covered. And you can reach out to us and flag your issues. And this is all about us and what we do. So this is our mission. Our mission is not to create a different community or a different a work group, but extend the mission and vision what PSF already has. The PSF mission is mostly globally have the Python presence around the world, have uh, a safe space for the developers to talk about their issues, their problems. And in a community, when you have such events, there are a lot, lot of planning that goes in, in the background. There's like funding, there is grant, there, how do we get like a space for our speakers to come into it. All those issues, you may not have a space to discuss more often. But these groups and us, we kind of come together and discuss about them. And, and, and you can also find a safe space, both as an organizer perspective and also as an attendee perspective, to talk to us. And uh, how are we working towards this? It's a long way. I won't say that we have even reached a significant amount of development, but this is how we do it. We try to come across different communities and present our ideas and thoughts, and also expect the same. Like give back your feedback to us. It's not we alone cannot build a community which is safe and sound. It's your feedback that drives it. And overall, we also help in the um, process of grants, the uh, policies, the COCs, the code of conduct. So we are like a middle group which oversees most of these developments. And, and if, if there is something that we need to chime in uh, all together. This is a common question, right? Why exactly it's important? Do you, do you feel? It's important, like having a safe space to talk about and, and make sure that all the community members are thought, thought about and, and can be um, seen, I would say. Do you feel that that's, that's an important step? Yes, no? Good. I won't take no an answer, but yes. <laughs> It's about us. It's, it's, it's being together is what motivates us. And um, the growth, the innovation, and then everything follows after that. So that's, that's pretty much a um, simple statement and vision that we are trying to follow. So you can read about why did we exactly start and why it was needed. Maybe language barriers, maybe we were not able to consider the opinions and thoughts about different demographics across the world. Because Python, to be frank, we, see, we saw that it was more US-centric, and, and the ideas and visions were coming uh, from there. But how do you reflect that to a global community? Because Python is global, and we cannot just consider one geographic location as, as, as a pinpoint location. I'm going to quickly wrap up. So the next bits and pieces, I think I have lots to say, but I won't go there. So we have a website which talks about uh, where are we right now? What are the next steps that we are going to have? What are the next uh, events that we might be planning where all the communities can chime in and, and, and give us their feedback? You could uh, take a look at this website and let us know if you feel there is any, any 
changes that you want to have, if, if there is any suggestions, feel free to come and uh, just flag them uh, to us. I tried creating a quick QR code, which you could probably scan and get to the website. Hopefully, that helps. And if possible, I will share these slides with you. Thank you so much.